BBC News with Debbie Russ. A missile strike on a railway station in the eastern Ukrainian city of Kramatorsk has killed at least 39 people and injured hundreds more. The city's mayor said 4,000 civilians had gathered at the station waiting to flee an oncoming Russian advance. Ukraine's prime minister said Russia had proven its status as a terrorist state. The governor of Ukraine's northern Sumy region says the military has regained full control there. He said Russian forces had withdrawn but warned residents against returning before mines were cleared. Ukrainian officials insist that they retain control of most of the besieged port city of Mariupol, where fierce fighting has continued for weeks, trapping tens of thousands of civilians. An advisor to the city's mayor denied Russian reports that Mariupol had fallen to pro-Russian forces. Slovakia says it sent its S-300 surface-to-air missile system to Ukraine. Media reports say the Russian-made system has already been secretly deployed. The UN says the war in Ukraine has helped push food prices to their highest level since records began 60 years ago. The price index of the UN Food and Agriculture Organization rose by more than 12% between February and March. China's leader Xi Jinping has praised the country's zero COVID strategy, even as Shanghai reported a new daily record of 21,000 cases. Speaking at an event about the Beijing Winter Olympics, Mr Xi said some athletes had suggested China should win a gold medal for its approach to COVID. Representatives of COVID vaccine donor countries are meeting to address the wide gap in vaccination rates between rich and poor nations. Production of the vaccine has outstripped global demand, but several hundred million people remain unvaccinated. Egypt's Prosecutor-General has opened an investigation into the murder of a Coptic Christian priest. BBC News.